This is Akashvani, the news read by Saira Mujtaba. In Kerala, death toll in the massive landslide that devastated Wayanad yesterday has reached 157. 186 injured people are undergoing treatment in various hospitals. About 100 people are reportedly missing. Relief and rescue operations are in full swing. Several bodies are believed to be buried beneath the debris, while several others were washed away in the landslide in Tuchelia River in Malappuram district. In Jharkhand, restoration work is underway on a war footing on Tata Nagar Chakradharpur rail section of East Central Railway. The derailed bogies of the ill-fated Howrah Mumbai Mail are being removed from the tracks. The general manager of South Eastern Railway, Anil Kumar Mishra, said rail traffic on this section is likely to be restored today. The Lok Sabha has now resumed after it was adjourned till 12 noon today following uproar by opposition parties demanding caste census in the country. When the house met this morning, Congress members tried to raise the issue. Later, members from Congress, DMK, Samajwadi Party and others trooped into the well, raising slogan in support of their demand. Speaker Om Birla repeatedly asked them to go back to their seats, but they continued with the sloganeering. Amidin the speaker tried to run the question hour he said disturbing the proceedings of the house in a pre-planned manner is not appropriate parliamentary affairs minister kiran rijiju criticized the opposition for their contact in the house he accused congress of trying to weaken the country by making comments against the armed forces mr rijiju also alleged that congress is trying to incite violence in the country as the ruckus continued the house was adjourned till 12 noon Former Union Health Secretary and 1983 batch IAS officer Preeti Sudhan has been appointed as the chairperson of the Union Public Service Commission UPSC. President Draupadi Murmu has approved the appointment of Ms Sudhan. She will take charge on the 1st of August. Ms Sudhan will succeed Dr Manoj Soni who resigned earlier this month before the end of his tenure. Gulab Chand Kataria today to court as new governor of Punjab and Chandigarh administrator at Punjab Raj Bhavan. Chief Justice of Punjab and Haryana High Court Shri Nagu administered the oath. Lakshman Prasad Acharya today took oath as governor of Manipur. Swearing in ceremony was held this morning at Raj Bhavan in Imphal. The oath of office was administered by the Chief Justice of Manipur High Court Siddharth Mridul. Former Union Minister Santosh Kumar Gangwar today took oath as new governor of Jharkhand. The acting Chief Justice of Jharkhand High Court Sujit Narayan Prasad administered him the oath of office and secrecy at Raj Bhavan in Ranchi The political head of Hamas Ismail Haniyeh has been assassinated in Tehran Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC said in a statement today Haniyeh was killed alongside one of his bodyguards at his residence in the Iranian capital while he was in the town to attend Iran's president Masoud Pezeshkian's swearing in ceremony yesterday In Paris Olympics Indian athletes will be competing in shooting, badminton, table tennis, boxing, archery and equestrian on day 5. Two-time Olympic medalist PV Sindhu will feature in a second group stage match against Christian Kuba of Estonia today. In the men's singles Lakshya Sen will take on Jonathan Christie of Indonesia at 1:40 p.m. IST while HS Pranoy takes on Dak Thatley of Vietnam at 11 p.m. IST. Tuesday was another medal winning day for India's shooting queen Manu Bhakar at Shatu Ru. She teamed up with Sarabjot Singh to claim bronze in the 10 meter air pistol mixed event to create history in what was a red letter day for Indian sports. She can add to her already astonishing legacy if she makes it three medals in a row by claiming a podium finish in the 25 meter pistol event. The Indian hockey team defeated Ireland 2-0 to stay on course for consecutive Olympic medals. In archery individual rounds Bhajan Kaur started shooting brilliantly to make it to the round of 16 the dynamic badminton duo of Satvik Sairaj Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty have also marched into the men's doubles quarters and the Indian meteorological department IMD has forecast isolated extremely heavy rainfall with very heavy falls over northwest northeast west central and southern parts of the country for the next few days IMD said isolated extremely heavy rainfall is likely over Karnataka today and over central Maharashtra till Saturday and that is the end of this news bulletin